Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So I just got out of the shower and I wanted to show you guys what I do to get ready. It's already like five o'clock, but I just decided to do it anyways, even though I'm only gonna have it on for a few hours, but I really wanted to share these products with you guys. I tried filming this yesterday, had a little bit of a meltdown. We're okay. <laughs> I was really trying to push through it because I told you guys that I wanted to be more open about my anxiety. But I was like, I'm not going to have a full-blown anxiety attack on my, like, video. That's a real downer, so I don't want to do that. I'm feeling a little bit better today, so I that's why I wanted to share these products with you guys. So I used the special cleansing gel in the shower, and now I'm just going to apply my skincare products. First, I'm going to go in oh, let me spray my face with the toner. Just the rose water toner. I like applying all of my products onto a damp skin just because it absorbs so much better. So I'm going to take my eye gel. I am going to put a little bit of makeup. So this is just what I do to prep my skin. And I will say, because I haven't been feeling that great. I haven't been taking the best care of my skin, which has been really disappointing. I'm like in this constant cycle of like, I don't feel well, so I end up not doing my make my skincare or my makeup. And then because I'm not doing those things, I feel worse. So that's the story of my life. So this is the Skinica Cucumber Herbal Eye Gel. It feels so soothing. It just like wakes you up in the morning and it just feels and smells really nice. And then we're gonna go in with my favorite serum. This is the Peach and Lily Glass Serum. This serum has been like such a staple through the years. I always go back to it and just like it's one of my serums that I like to keep in like my rotation just because it makes my skin feel so nice and hydrated and yeah it's just amazing. And Peach and Lily I always recommend because they have such great ingredients. They're a great price. And yeah, I just really love that brand. So now I'm just going to let that soak into the skin. And I actually wanted to make a recommendation for deodorants because for the longest time I've been trying to do the like um, no aluminum and no parabens. So I... I've found this one and I think I've used this one for about a year now and it's one of my favorites. Um, I like it because you could find it at Target. The one that I was using before was like online only and I like hate like running out and you can't like go to the store to go pick it up. But it is one that I would recommend. It is a little pricey but I'll link it down below. It's called Freedom Deodorant. And it's basically the same thing, no aluminum, no parabens. It works really good. So both of those are great options and yeah, it smells really good. And then after the serum, this is the moisturizer that I've been using. It's the Cos RX Oil Free Ultra Moisturizing Lotion with Birch Sap by Cos RX. This one works really good it, as like a moisturizer and a primer. So I'm just going to put that on my skin. I'm running out. I have another one in our bedroom, but I'm just trying to use up like the last of this one. And then I also wanted to talk about my jewelry that I'm wearing. I have these gold hoops and this necklace right here. I got both of them off of Amazon. So I'll go ahead and link those down below. These are some of my favorite earrings because they're like the perfect size and I like the, they're like the perfect thickness of it too because it's kind of like a statement piece but they're not too like over the top. So I really like that. So I'm just gonna wait for all the products to be absorbed by my skin. And like I was saying, um, yeah, I haven't been doing too great with my anxiety. I've been feeling 
um, really out of it and just unmotivated and it's really sucked but I know that I'm just like trying to push through and I'm working through a lot of things personally so I feel like when you're really trying to work on yourself and work through a lot of the traumas that you've gone through um, it just takes such a toll on you because you're facing those things that you've put off for so many years head on. So it's definitely a lot to just to deal with in general. So that definitely sucks, but you're not alone. I'm going through the same things and um, I try and post a lot on my Instagram stories about it, about healing from trauma and uh, just things that help anxiety like I'm always trying to post stuff like that and when I post it it's because it's like something that I really feel speaks to me um, so that's why I, I post it on there but I definitely feel that that's just how healing goes and my husband and I talk about it all the time that it's never just gonna be like a almost like a straight path um, there's so many ups and downs that come with healing, uh, but it's so necessary to go through and that's just the only thing that like keeps me pushing through all of the pain is and the discomfort of it all is to just keep pushing through because I know that it's necessary. I know that it's necessary for myself and I know that it the healing is necessary for like my children and their children's children. So yeah, that's really important. Um, if you guys don't really look into that kind of stuff, I would definitely recommend just looking into generational trauma. I feel like a lot of people have it and don't even know it. And it's just so important to, to again, just go, go into it facing it head on. So this is how I've been applying my foundation lately. I switch off between this one and a Lancome one. This is the Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. It's a full coverage, like medium, medium to full coverage foundation. And it is um, like soft matte. So what I do is I apply three pumps onto my fingers and I apply it with my hands. I just kind of rub it into the skin. And then afterwards I go in with my blend, my uh, beauty sponge. So you take it like this. It looks crazy at first. And I saw this on TikTok. And it just leaves your skin looking so airbrushed because the warmth of your hands is just really getting it into the skin. And then after that, you want to take your beauty sponge and then get like the excess product off. So now that I absorbed the excess product off with my sponge, I'm going to get close up so you can see how I just feel like it looks so natural. Like it gives you a good amount of coverage. It also just like looks and it feels like your skin. And sometimes I did have that issue with this specific foundation going on too, like just too heavy. And then I'm going to go in with my cream bronzer. I use the KKW. It's the light contour. I just put it, I put it a little higher than normal. Cause I want it to make my face, you know, look like it's getting lifted, I guess. And I really like this because it's the easiest cream bronzer that I've ever worked with. 
I think the biggest thing that I'm starting to hate about doing my skincare and my makeup is because for some reason, like once I start and I get into it, I like start sweating by the end of it and I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's such a task. So it just blends in really nice, super natural. And then I'm just gonna go in with some blush. Normally I would go in with some mascara, but I just, my eyes feel a little bit too sensitive. But lately I've been using the telescopic mascara in Carbon Black by L'Oreal Paris. And it looks like this. I'm not gonna apply any of that today. And then just on my lips, I'm gonna go in with the Laneige Lip Mask. And those are all of the products that I use for just like a natural, I want to get ready, but not put too much effort. I personally don't feel like it takes a long time to do at all. So yeah, this is it. So it's already dark outside, so please excuse this lighting, but that is it for the products that I use and it's really all that I wanted to share with you guys along with how I've been feeling lately. So if anyone else is out there that feels like healing is just exhausting and working through all of the things that have hurt you and that you've been through, it just feels like a long process. But we just have to remind ourselves that it is worth it and it really is just a part of self-care. So I just wanted to quickly touch on that subject. I definitely want to get more into it and have deeper conversations in regards to it. So I'm warming up to that. That's why I started off with my first video and now I'm doing this. So I think I'm slowly gonna, I'm slowly going to get more and more comfortable with the idea of talking about trauma and the healing process of it all. And one more thing that I wanted to mention that has recently helped me a lot in my journey to healing is just because you're starting to heal does not mean that the people that hurt you deserve your forgiveness. That's something that I really struggled with a lot, especially if you grew up in the church, um, if you grew up I feel like in any religion, really, you can correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but in the religion that I grew up in, it was always taught that you basically have like no other choice uh, to heal or to move on if you don't forgive someone for what they have done to you. And some things, I do agree, some things can be forgiven, but when it comes to trauma, and abuse. I I don't agree with that and that's something that I have learned on my own and I have been working through because my constant struggle was I know that this person doesn't deserve my forgiveness but because of what I believe I have to give that to them and once I let go of that and once I realized that I don't have to forgive that person or those people I think that's what has really, really helped me recently in realizing in my in my journey to healing. So I don't know who else needs to hear that. Sometimes I feel like forgiveness is just used in, as another way of manipulation. And that is just my personal opinion. If you don't feel that way, everyone's journey to healing is different. But I just thought that I would share that because that helped me a lot and hopefully it helps someone else. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time.